What up friends, today I'm sharing with you guys what to expect as a part-time videographer like me. But before I get into it, I wanna share with you guys a quick little update. The reason I've been posting as much good, meaty content, I actually followed my own advice, which I shared a couple videos back, and I will link that in the description. But basically, I just started DMing a bunch of businesses in San Diego, and I've been getting a lot of callbacks, a lot of uh, interest into videography and photography, and it's been great. So right now, it's just been a lot of figuring out how to manage my time with my beautiful wife, with my full-time job that I really love, and as well as serving at church, which I do a lot of uh, worship, part of the music team and all that stuff. So it's just a lot of things going on in the air right now, and things to kind of just figure out and how to manage them correctly, which is possible. It's just gonna require a lot more organization skills. Organiza organization skills, yes, that. But anyways, let's get straight into the good stuff. So you are probably in it or you're thinking about going into a part-time videography. So you can't really commit 100% of your time to full-time videography because you're not gonna make money for the first couple months. Or maybe not a lot of money enough to cover all those expenses, right? Regardless what the reason is, I'm gonna share with you guys a couple of things of what you can expect when going as a part-time videographer. These are things that I've learned along the way, things that I'm learning as I go, actually, and I'm gonna share them with you guys, and that's why I love posting on YouTube because I feel like I am right in the midst of it, of a part-time videographer starting to make money, and I wanna share those little tips with you guys. First of all, which I kinda of shared already in the beginning, is that you have to expect, you can expect, long hours. I'm just saying this, if you really wanna take this part-time videography serious, you're gonna have to spend time, I call it uh, work after work, right? And that's what happened to me. I create content for a gym, and they would hit me up to go at 7 p.m. I get off work at 6 p.m. Right after work, go straight to the gym and start shooting. And then I come back home, export the videos, probably around nine o'clock, edit maybe one or two videos, and then wake up in the morning, go to work, come back again, edit more videos. So you see it's gonna be a lot of long hours sometimes because you work certain days you're not able to shoot on those days so you're gonna have to book those shoots for your days off meaning you won't have a day off <laughs> so that's part of it but with that being said if you truly love this if you're truly passionate about videography or photography or whatever it is then it's not gonna be like extra work it's gonna be like getting paid to do what you love that's what it's gonna to take to be a part-time videographer, is that you're gonna to have to work long hours, but it's gonna be so worth it and rewarding. With that being said, time management is going to be critical as a part-time videographer if you wanna be successful, if you wanna have a healthy balance with your relationships with friends and family, you need to have time management. You need to be able to say no to certain things or say yes to a lot of things, but also be able to separate work, videography, family time, uh, your own time, you know, to have just things that you love to do for fun. Something else to expect is slow growth. You can't just expect to post on social media and say, hey, I'm a videographer, come to me. It's like, no, it doesn't work that way. You actually have to reach out. You actually have to put in work. You have to go shoot a lot of free stuff sometimes. And it's gonna be a slow growth, but hopefully steady growth. In the beginning, you need to start off slow be patient but keep your eye on the prize before you know it you're gonna have people coming to you but for now you we have to i'm saying we because I, i'm still in that part we have to put in the work to reach out to clients dm dm the more you shoot the faster you're gonna get to where you want to get to so just start shooting 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 is gonna build practice it's gonna build knowledge it's gonna build your portfolio what you gotta do is turn on that camera and start shooting all right next one i kind of shared about it a little bit but it's networking. You gotta let people know that you're a videographer and you are open for business. As a videographer, most if not all of your clientele is gonna come from here. But a lot of the clients that I have gotten has been through Instagram DMing and just letting them know, hey, I can offer you a sweet deal for first time clients and this, this is that, this is this. But you need to start putting yourself out there. If you don't ask, you're not gonna receive. So ask and you shall receive. So you gotta start hitting people up, hitting businesses up. You're gonna get a mostly no's, but those three yeses can potentially turn into other people that are gonna reach out to you through those three people. So it's gonna be slow growth again, but it's, you have to start networking. You can't just sit around, which I did for like a couple years, sitting around saying, I wanna be a videographer, I wanna do, I wanna get paid to do what I love. 
That's what I want to do, but I wouldn't do anything about it. Another thing to expect going back to the whole investing time into your business is learning. As you go through your videography journey, you're going to have clients that are going to want different kind of videos, are going to want more maybe interview style videos. It's not going to be always just hype videos like I always do. It's not going to be always very slow paced videos. You're going to get all kinds of videos. You don't want to lose that job. You're going to have to learn how to do that. You got to invest time into how to grow your business. A lot of things that I've been learning personally has been about LLCs, how to protect your business, how to protect yourself. And I encourage you guys to do the same for your business because you can't just be all uh, videography, creative stuff. There's a business to be ran. And if you don't do it, you're going to end up flopping. Last but not least, guys, I want to leave you guys with this. I know I shared a lot of not negative, but it can be it can sound as negative stuff. But overall, over everything I said, it is rewarding. It is rewarding to create something from nothing where literally a client, their Instagram page just looks like a mess. It just looks like phone, shaky stuff. And you get to come in and go to their place, to their business that they work so hard for, a business that maybe cost them blood, sweat, and tears to make that business. And maybe you got hurt, it hurt through the pandemic, but you get to come in and create this beautiful presentation for them to use for their potential new clients. For me, that is the ultimate goal, is that I get to help small businesses, medium-sized businesses, big businesses achieve those marketing goals where it gets to bring money to their pockets, it gets to bring money to my pockets, it brings value to the customer. It's this whole circle that we get to play a role in. It is rewarding when you get to finish that video and you export it and you watch it over your phone and you watch it again and again because you're so in love with your work. That is the rewarding part. And so, yes, the money is nice, the money is great, but overall, you have to love what you do. And if you get to get paid doing what you love, it's a win-win. So my friends, if you wanna be a part-time videographer, get the boat as close as possible, know what you're getting yourself into, execute that with excellence, and do a great job at it, and it's gonna show, and you're gonna see people coming back to you and sharing, spreading the word about your business. And that is what I'm gonna leave with you guys, my friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you received any kind of value in this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I know it's not a big number, but we are at 87 subscribers, so close to 100. So it's just that slow growth that I'm talking to you guys about. That is where I'm at right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. I wish you guys the best for your videography business. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.